So back in 2021, I was prepping my engine and going to paint it yellow. Uh, the reason I chose to paint my engine eventually yellow was because we had the Caterpillar uh, D6 or D2, I can't remember what it was now, it's so long ago, D2 dozer up at my Nana and Pop's farm. And, um, yeah, I chose that colour for this motor, the 4D56T. Uh, this specific block came out of a Mitsubishi Pajero 1987, and uh, it required a lot of TLC before it was ready to go in the engine bay, um, or, or be built. So, with this engine, prior to doing all this work, I had it cleaned, I had it machined, and unfortunately, even though I had all that done, the block was still very, very dirty, as you saw with some, some of the rust coming out, and I felt like I, I got a bit um, gypped with the workmanship of, you know, the hot tanking of this engine, because it just wasn't that clean, and I, I wish that the person who did the work said, hey, uh, we need to take, uh, do another run with the hot tank, this thing was just so chock-a-block full of crap, that we just couldn't do it properly, so it might cost you again to do the hot tanking, but it's either that, it's either leave it as it is, or uh, we clean it properly. And pretty much the idea is get rid of as many of the contaminants out of the system as possible, so then the thing doesn't cook, and the thing doesn't have things that are going to clog up your radiators that you put in the car. Um, in the video currently, you can see I'm priming the engine, and then I'll, I'm spray painting it, uh, with the yellow uh, spray paint enamel. I do not have any videos of me spraying the clear, but I did spray a clear on this engine, and that was to just protect it and keep that paint looking good for as long as possible. The engine is still yellow, but it's not nearly as bright as it was um, on this date when I painted it. And, yeah, I'm, I'm proud that this thing is holding up today as it is. It's you know, been a long time since these videos were actually made, but unfortunately, I never actually rendered them out and to upload them. So I managed to, in the last couple of days, find the videos and started deciding, you know, I'm going to put together some videos, make them shorter than I usually do, and just show bits of it. Because I don't think the whole scenario is necessarily required. I don't need to show you every second of the way, I just need to show you the more generalised bits like, you know, spray painting, which you could call it spray painting ASMR if you wanted to, and do something like that. So I've pretty much put tape everywhere where I don't really want paint to go because I still have some prep to do on some of the surfaces. Um, I didn't want the deck getting paint on it. I didn't want some of those um, side plates that have already sanded to get um, paint on it. And I, I didn't want the front. Uh, I didn't mind the sump or the backing plate or the front plate to get uh, anything on it. So that was that was fine. And yes, it does take a bit of paint to paint an engine block. I, I did leave some of the bloopers in, like the paint, uh, the lamp falling on the ground, and the, earlier on there was the uh, Triton spin saw, uh, it, it stopped functioning when I was using it, so I had to switch to a drill. Uh, the spin saw still doesn't work, but I'm planning on putting it, rebuilding it again, and maybe upgrading the internal bits on it with some help, because it is a really useful tool, it's just it's a very delicate one at that as well. And it's because it can take a quarter inch shaft and you can use a Dremel on it or you can use those wire wheels on it. And because of its speed capabilities, it, it's a pretty useful tool to have in my arsenal. And it, there isn't many tools other than uh, air gr die grinders that can get up to those kind of speeds. Now, even though I only show like painting over it once, I know when it, I let it dry, there was spots that I did miss, so I had to come back and paint the engine again outside of the scope of making the videos that I made. So even though I filmed a lot of it and there's like 220 gigs of files, I, I did do things outside of the scope of the videos that I actually did make. But anyway guys, this is Mike Mechanical signing off.